Modern Kazakh art, both in classical form and combined with national traditions, became well known on the international arena for years of independence. Today's Art Global finds out how Kazakhstan's culture is presented in beautiful and sunny Baku, a city situated on the other side of the Caspian Sea. Today we will have a tour to the Baku State University. This is the oldest and biggest university of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Baku State University is known as the leader of educational institutions. The Baku State University was founded in 1919 and the new chapter in the history of the Turkic people at the junction of Europe and Asia was written. Since then, 100 years have passed and more than 20,000 students study here. This is a center of knowledge and critical thinking. The teacher's main goal is to teach and instill the love of learning in students. The popularization of Kazakh culture became a favorite topic for Fatima Dursunova, professor of the Department of Turkic Studies. I was born and grew up in Kazakhstan. I graduated from secondary school number two in Jambul. This town is renamed as Taras, but I still cannot get used to this name. Then I came to Baku as part of the Students' Exchange Program to study, and here I found my own happiness. Kazakhstan remains as the second motherland for me because all my relatives, brothers and sisters, and most importantly, my parents still live in Kazakhstan. At least once a year, I go to Kazakhstan. This is very important for me. Baku is close to my heart because I live and work here. I found my calling. I teach Kazakh literature at the university. Along with teaching, Fatima Dursunova is the head of center of the Kazakh language, history and culture, named after Abai. The center is based at the university. It seems like we're in Kazakhstan when we get to the center. There's a painted ceiling in the form of Shanirak, a dwelling of nomads, and walls are covered with portraits of the great Kazakh enlightener. There is also a collection of books written by the best Kazakh writers. Our center was opened in May in 2011. We launched the center because our people have common roots, the common Turkic past, and it unites us. The teachers of the Department of Turkic Studies work at the center. They contribute to the development of the center. There's also a Department of History of the Turkic Peoples at the Faculty of History. The history of Kazakhstan is also included in the program. We see a great interest amongst our students in Kazakh literature. Many young people are eager to do research, dissertations, and conduct comparative analysis of Kazakh and Azerbaijani literatures. Our teachers are engaged in translation activities and research work. Professors of the Abai Center initiated the course titled Kazakh Enlighteners of the 19th Century for Master's Degree Students at the Baku State University. They also intend to introduce a course on the study of the Kazakh language. Abai's works were translated into Azerbaijani language in different years and in Soviet times. Recently, we launched the project at our center in 2007. We collected all the works written by Abai that were translated into Azerbaijani language in those years. One of his books, Karasozder, which means Words of Wisdom, was not translated. So we translated the book in 2017. All the works were published in a single collection. This compilation is very useful for our students because they use it in the study of the Kazakh literature. In general, university professors translated about 10 books since the Abai Center was founded. Ramis Askerov, Doctor of Philology, holder of Shohrat Order or Order of Glory, is one of the translators. Askerov translated the Kazakh folk lyric epic poem Kiz Zhibek into Azerbaijani language. This masterpiece was created 550 years ago. Now I will show you the book. The text in Kazakh is on this side of the book, and the text in Azerbaijani is on the other side, and so on to the end. I have the book in Kazakh. I also read the book in Turkish. I translated it with rhythms. There are some common words in our languages. If there are no words in our language, I created new words and meanings. It was such a creative book, but the meaning of the book in both languages remained the same.
есть сегодня в наших языках как общие слова, а где нет, я уже сам сочиняю. The folk lyric epic poem, named for its main character Kizjibek, is a pearl of Kazakh folklore. For the first time, the epic was recorded back in the 19th century, and today there are 16 versions. The poem is included in the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage List, and according to the decision of UNESCO, the nation celebrated the 500th anniversary of the famous epic 10 years ago. And now, thanks to the efforts of Professor Ramis Askerov, the Kazakh Kazakh epic poem is also available for readers in Azerbaijani language. I sent two three copies of Kizjibek book to Nur Sultan Nazarbayev and to the Kazakh National Library in 2017. <laughs> Ten days later, I received a letter from Mr. Kasimbekov on behalf of the president that the president of Kazakhstan expressed his gratitude for the Kiz Zhibek book in the Azerbaijani language. He said that this book will be included into his library. This will also contribute to the history of Kazakh-Azerbaijani friendly relationship. Professor Ramis Askerov translated dozens of poems into Azerbaijani language. He contributed to the literal heritage of his people with outstanding works of foreign authors. I translated several poems written by outstanding Kazakh poet Kasim Amanjolov a few years ago. The works were published in a newspaper of the Writers' Union. Then I wrote an article in Karganda. As you know, he came from Karganda. There was an international symposium dedicated to his life and work. I sent all my works, but I could not attend the event. But I had an opportunity to participate in the event held in Almaty at the end of the year. It was the final event in a series of conferences dedicated to his creative works. I read poems and delivered remarks. Everything was fine. It was a wonderful event. The Embassy of Kazakhstan in Azerbaijan provides support and assistance in the activity of the Kazakh language, history and cultural center named after Abai. The international conferences were held in honor of the 550th anniversary of the Kazakh Khanate and the 170th anniversary of Abai in cooperation with the Embassy. We launched a special project initiated by Kazakh Embassy in Azerbaijan in the past three to four years. The project was originally created on the eve of the celebration of the 550th anniversary of the Kazakh Khanate, and its main goal was to translate and to publish books for the people of Azerbaijan about the great historical events and prominent figures that played a special role in the 550-year history of the Kazakh state into Azerbaijani language. The books tell the story of our writers and cultural workers, artists, great scholars who contributed to the growth of Kazakh Khanate and independent Kazakhstan. Philosopher, poet and pride of the Kazakh people, Abai, takes a big place in the hearts of not only the Kazakhs. He is also named the great son of all Turkic nations. His influence extends far beyond the Kazakh steppes. And for professor of the Baku University, Firuza Gaeva, Abai is more than just a personality. Her whole life is linked with his works. I already know Abai Kunanbayev's works at the age of 12. My mother somehow brought books from the local library, and Abai's books were among them. I was already an ardent admirer of the work of this great poet, enlightener, and democrat. I come from the region of Azerbaijan called Kazakh. My father was one of the well-known figures in our region. People called him Abai. When I grew up and became a student of the Azerbaijan State University, I learned more about Abai from my teachers. I decided to study his works. Relying exclusively upon her own strength, Professor Firuza Agaeva published two books about the Kazakh Enlightener in Azerbaijani language. The books are Abai's Personality and Creative Heritage and Abai and Azerbaijan. The professor also wrote another book about Abai in Russian language to introduce Russian-speaking readers and students to the works of the thinker. I teach at the Philological and Journalism faculties at the university. For these students, it's very important to know Abai's works, Kazakh culture, literature and art. 
They are representatives of the Turkic world. The knowledge about Kazakh culture and art allows them to learn more about the Turkic world. The spread and popularization of Kazakh culture have a positive impact. Hundreds of students enjoy learning the Kazakh literature, language, traditions and customs. And for those who are interested in visiting and studying in the country, the exhibition of Kazakhstan's universities are held in Baku. For me, Kazakhstan is my second country, my second homeland after Turkey. Now I have been living in Baku in Azerbaijan. We work in the sphere of education and culture. We launch various cultural and educational projects. Recently, we opened an exhibition about education in Kazakhstan in this hall. The representatives of the Al-Farabi Kazakh National University and many other universities participated in the exhibition. We want to motivate the youth of Azerbaijani to study in Kazakhstan. Kazakh epic literature combines artistic expressiveness, deep meaning, a fascinating plot and a description of the everyday traditions of nomadic civilization, which attracts many readers and scholars who study this genre. One of the eternal themes of Kazakh folklore is the centuries-old struggle of the people for national unity. Epic poem Koblandi Batr tells about the heroic deeds of the defender of his native land. To tell the truth, I was deeply interested in translating this monumental epic novel Koblandi Batr into Azerbaijani language. In my opinion, this is a very interesting epic work which tells about life, history, customs, traditions, views and psychology. It also describes about the life of that period and specific historical periods. How people behave towards other people, stripes and clans. And I was primarily attracted by the image of Koblandi Batir himself, where he could find strength to avenge the tribes for the families who want to occupy his lands. I was fascinated by his love for the homeland, his patriotism. All these facts inspired me to translate this book. It took 15 years of hard work to translate the book. The heroic epic Koblandi Batr was presented in the translation of Nizami Mamidov to the Azerbaijani readers in 2017. The author tried to preserve all the originality of the epic, which is often lost in the literal translation. The professor managed to convey the rhythm, structure and size. The professor kindly gave us the book as a sign of friendship between the brotherly people with the signature. The translators of Kazakh literature into the Azerbaijani language noted that this experience is especially interesting because translations can clearly trace the similarity of Azerbaijani and Kazakh people despite belonging to different language groups. Now I will tell you how the Kazakh language influences the development of the Azerbaijani language through the Turkish language. When the process of Turkification of the language took place in Turkey, as far as I know, I worked with teachers, with scholars from Turkey. They often refer to Kazakh language. The fact is that the Kazakh language turned out to be the language that preserved its ancient Turkic structure. Today, we told you about a small part of Kazakhstan in Baku, the Abaisa Center, and the people who study the culture of others from the other side of the Caspian Sea. For some people, Kazakh literature is an opportunity to study, compare, and educate, whereas for others, the love to Abaisa's works is a threat that connects with their childhood and native land. For example, when I was a young girl, I never thought what homeland means. I never thought what my native land means to me. Homeland is your ethnic belonging to some space or the place where you were born and grew up. Everything became clear when I moved here to live, when I had a family here. Once I heard the music of Kurmangazi's Dombra, and I just did not expect it from myself, I sat by the TV and burst into tears. I understood that I am Kazakh. I remembered my childhood, our summer camps in the mountains, flowers, tulips, poppies. This is my homeland. 
This native land is your life. You can never forget where you come from. The feeling of home will live with you forever. На майовку їздили в гори, ці тюльпани, ці маки, це все моя родина. Ну, звичайно, це все не відпускає людину. Просто так, якщо ти дійсно людина.